trouble no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because surely he shall not be moved forever. That is the word of God. Psalm 127 says, surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. Nigeria will not go into oblivion. Nigeria will not disappear. Nigeria will not be... They will say there was once, once, no? And a lot of these things are happening because a lot of us don't know history. But Nigeria will not go into oblivion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 126. Psalm 126 says, Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. Nigeria, you shall be in everlasting remembrance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our various families, if Jesus, sorry, will not disappear. No, will not be wiped out. No, every plot is every scheming of the evil one. They backfire and they destroy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every scheme is and plot is they disappear and they destroy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. Thank you because you are remembering Nigeria for good. You are remembering us for good. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for opening the book of remembrance. And what is that book? Your word says that. Blessed is the man that feared the Lord. That delighted greatly in his commandments. Nigeria. Is known as. One of the most religious countries in the world. We have the largest auditorium. And I believe one, two, three. If you talk of largest auditorium one. Nigeria. Largest auditorium two. Nigeria. Largest auditorium three, Nigeria. And there is an auditorium too that is still going on without borders, without walls. It's just going on. It's just going on. It's just going on. It's just going on. And so all this religiosity can never, never, never be in vain. Even where we are, your mercy will prevail. Even where we are, you will honor your name. You will honor your name. You will honor your name. And Nigeria is the giant of Africa, and the symbol of the African continent is a gun. And Nigeria, where the gun is, where the trigger is, where the most important component of the gun is, that is where Nigeria is. And Nigeria of late is the number one nation exporting missionaries to the north, the south, the east, and the west of the whole world. Nations like Britain and others would have long ago been forgotten Christianity there. But we have people like Ashimulu going there. We, ha we have not taken the, the campaign of religiosity back to America, back to all those places. And we are saying it will not be ordinary, no. It will not be ordinary, no. Even though there are those who want to, to destroy our culture, they bring the issue of transgender, cross-dressing, cross that. And they bring a lot of things in and a lot of the churches too. The angel of darkness has entered in, but there is no way darkness can ever, ever overcome light. And so, Father, we are saying Nigeria will not be moved, will not be moved. Your righteousness will abide forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so we say, God, arise, arise and defend our nation. Arise and defend our nation. Arise and defend our good, the good people, good citizens of Nigeria. Arise, Lord, and defend the helpless. The helpless. We have nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. You come to someone, somebody like me in my house, I don't even have a knife. That's how they find the knife. <laughs> If we had the knives, I said they are not sharp. What do you want to do use with a knife for? How many people? What do you want to use AK-47 for? But we have a God. I have a Father. Almighty Father. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We have a Father. Oh. I have a Father. Oh. Almighty Father. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We have a Father. Our Father is the Almighty God himself. The God that does not sleep, that does not slumber. And concerning our nation, Nigeria, he's not sleeping. Concerning the nations of the world, he's not sleeping. And so, Father, we say, arise. Arise in your might and scatter every enemy. Arise in your might and scatter every enemy of our soul, of our, of our destinies, of our children, of our peace, of our joy. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you. That they will bless you. We we'll celebrate you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Because we are more than conquerors. Overcome us in this world. We have been made victorious. Through the blood of Jesus Christ. We are more than conquerors. We are more than conquerors. Overcome us in this world. We have been made victorious. Through the blood of Jesus Christ. We are more than conquerors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We conquer. We conquer. We win. We run over the troops in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever be the forces. Whatsoever be the troops assailing us, troubling us as a nation, as individuals, as a family, as a nation, the nations of the world, we trample over them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The light of God has risen and is risen and is overtaking the darkness. Where there is a flicker of light, darkness can never stay. And so we say, Daddy, thank you. Thank you for rising up. Thank you for rising up. Thank you for rising up to fight for our nation, to fight for our nation. Confront them, scatter them. <laughs> I love because growing up, when I hear my mother praying forgiveness, ah, she will fast, fast, do seven days dry fasting. Ah, then our rooms are connecting rooms. Our children's room is connected to her room. And my bed, the double, we have double bunks. And my bed was just next door to her room. <laughs> I will hear her wake up and be praying, pray, 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 pray for all my uncles that were troubling us there. Pray for everybody. I wake up and say, This prayer, no be here more. Psalm 35, contend, O Lord, with those who contend with me. All those wicked psalms, at that time I learned them. Contend, O Lord, with those who contend against us. Take up the spear, the javelin, and finish them and scatter them. She'll say, No. No, no, be like that. Mercy prayer. Mercy prayer. Mercy prayer. And so we pray for mercy now. Are you out there and you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Jesus came that you may have life. Jesus came that you may not do evil anymore. Jesus came that you may do away with this gross wickedness, gross inhumanity to man. Jesus came that you may forgive. Jesus came that you may start a new beginning of joy, of peace, of laughter. To have this new beginning is very simple. Isaiah 1, 18, 19 says, come, let's reason together. Even though your sin is as crimson, we will wipe it away. You may repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. If you say that prayer, that's all your sins are forgiven. So simple, but dynamic prayer. Because there is one who went on the cross of Calvary to pay the price for you and for me. And that person is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus paid the price for you and for me. All you need to do is to accept the free gift. Accept the free gift. When you accept the free gift, that is all. Your sins are forgiven. You may repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Once you say that prayer, that's all. Your sins are forgiven. Remember, you are enlisted into the Lord's army. Our soldiers are out there fighting. We are also soldiers of the cross. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Every day, every day, sleep, 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 sleep. And the enemy is there plotting. They are not sleeping. No. Wake up. Cry to God. Take a fast. Take a fast. You and your children that you will not go and fast in the bush. God forbid, batting. Pray for Nigeria. Let's talk less and pray more. Talk less and pray more. Talk less and pray more. You hear some things. You hear them. Turn them to prayer. Turn them to prayer. Be enlisted in the Lord's army. Ezekiel 22, 30, and God sought for a man that would stand in the gap. Israel went into captivity when there was nobody to stand. I'm standing, you are standing, everybody is standing. Nigeria will not go into captivity. They can never, never have their way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord bless you. Lord keep you. His countenance of favor and of mercy never leave us all. Please visit our YouTube channel under the Ban of Love account, YouTube. Ban of Love, Edit Atake. You see there, we've loaded tips for you, videos for you, of encouragement, of strength, 
visit like them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your life can never, never remain the same again. If you said that prayer, please, you need a Bible-believing church to attend. Find one near you and attend. God bless you. On Facebook, we have five pages. Search the scriptures when you pray and I pray. Church on the air. Ministers of the church. Visit them, like them, be encouraged. They are very, very educational. And most of them have five over five ratings. God bless you. Thank you.